Hey guys, welcome back to Game of Mods. Um, okay, we have the Nerf Dino Squad uh, Triceroblast. Basically, another one in the Dino Squad line uh, from Nerf. Um, it's kind. Of, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the. Um, uh, I was gonna say, is it not Shell Strike? Uh, Sledge Fire, Sledge Fire, and then with a Triceratops kind of feel. Um, and it was on sale as well uh, during Prime Day, so I picked it up because I figured why not? It was half price. I think it was like ten dollars or less. So I figured, you know, for that price, why not? Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. I believe it has. Break action? Yeah, break, open, load. Uh, so that's why it kind of reminded me of the uh, sledge fire. So packaging here, some darts I'm guessing. Uh, the instructions. And clip this. And that should be it. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I bought my uh, Sledge Fire, it was like, I was like hyped about it because I got it for a really good price. Um, I bought it with another blaster off of a guy off of offer up um, a couple of years back and I was like, oh, sick. <laughs> but now you can pretty much find it pretty, pretty fairly uh, reasonably cheap on uh, eBay. All right, so let's go ahead with the instructions, which is very minimal. Um, let's open up our darts while we're at it too. I think it says that it came with six, 12 dollars, 16 dollars, something like that. We'll see. Yeah, plentiful. So let's see here. Get this on. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 12 darts. That's not bad. I think it only loads four in the actual blaster part and then you have storage back here for one, two, three, four, five, six. So six on both sides and then four and so, you know, if you really want to get more of these ones, all well, these colors, well, you could, um, what was it when I just did the Raptor slash, same color darts. So if you really want to load this thing up and use this one, not the other, you could just load the same darts in, but it's just elite darts. Uh, let's see here. How do we load this? The horn goes forward and the bottom comes down. You load in. Oh, it's three darts. Sorry. I thought it was four. Um, okay, that's pretty self explanatory. Okay. Let's go ahead and try. So this is going to come forward and that comes down. Okay. So you load in three right here. Now, I don't know if this shoots one at a time or all three. It's very hard to tell on this. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Um, if you really want to, you actually could push them, you know, through the front here instead of doing that break action thing. But, you know, since it's there, why not? So the three are in there and then, three, three four. They give you enough for one side and about half of the other side, I believe. Here, let's see. Yeah, six on each side. So uh, the onboard capacity for this guy is, um, so we've got nine, 12, uh, 15, 12 in the stock and then three and you actually load. And the primate, well, that's kind of inconvenient, but like I'm stretching my thumb, you almost have to hold it like underneath here to prime, but you know, once it's back there, I guess it's okay. Okay, so it shoots one at a time. 
with a smart AR, I'm guessing. Yeah. Kind of wish it had something in the back here, like after you prime, like some sort of switch back here or another one of these back here to where you could pull it and it pulled the string through and you could pop that open again. But you know, and this is not spring loaded or anything. It's not like the uh, sledge fire in that sense. And technically, if you really wanted to, you could just fire it like this if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, it looks like a smart AR system in there. Um, it looks cool. Again, um, paint OA on one side, nerf in the black with the Dino Squad in the black. Triceroblast on the side here, you flip it over. You do get uh, Triceroblast. Uh, nerf, but it's not in black, and you don't get Dino Squad right here because they have to throw on the uh, warning stuff because I don't know why. Um, I was thinking you could just take this off so it wouldn't be in the way because it kind of is in the way a little bit, just the feel of it, but this grip is pretty bad. I mean, if I, I'm a full grown adult, and if you're trying to sell this to a kid, they're gonna hold it here and they're gonna have to do it with two hands. You know, it's just, I mean, I guess, but it would have been better if the whole thing came undone like this. That would have been pretty cool. Or if the, um, the muzzle would have been like back here, that would have been better. So this whole thing comes down. Um, but I can't complain at half price. You know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know if it's still on sale. Uh, I'll put the link for it down below, of course, as I always do uh, from Amazon. But other than that, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, uh, Dino Squad uh, Tricera Blast here. Um, yeah. I just wish this was kind of, I don't know. I had hopes that this was like a sledge fire where when you pulled it down, it pulled the string and it primed it or it had a spring in there just to, you know, crank. Um, you know, it's not bad. I mean, that's a pretty quick trigger. Um, let's go ahead and test. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Um, probably have to do this with the nose down as it is like now, so I can actually see the dart come out. We will try it on the chronograph here. Let me prime it. There we go. I'm guessing it's just the top one first. 59.1. Prime it again. Second shot. 40, but it kind of hit because I can see I was shooting in the last one here 70.9 so average um, Nerf Elite uh, Ranges nothing special um, But again for half price not a bad pickup uh, Might sell it later on uh, Who knows? But uh, yeah um, I did, let's see, do I have, I have a couple more unboxings too, I'll probably do one, let's see, what's today, is today Saturday? Saturday, I'll do, depending on what my schedule is, because I'm planning to go see that movie, uh, Nope, tomorrow, um, so that should be pretty fun and interesting, uh, I like Jordan Peele's work, it was, you know, a get a, uh, get, get us, Get Out and Us for really good, so I see this probably being really good too. Um, but I digress. Uh, but I do have uh, two review uh, videos coming uh, probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow and on Monday. Um, and then I actually have a blaster that's not a blaster uh, that we will be reviewing. It's not Nerf, it's not Dart Zone, not Adventure Force. Um, you can take a guess in the comments of what it is. Um, I don't think you're going to get it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we'll get into that, uh, in the next week. And, um, oh, 
The next video I'm going to be making after this, I'm probably going to work on it tonight, is I'm going to be going over some of the new blasters that are coming out in August. Um, if you've seen some of the other people's channels like um, Dr. Flux, um, Drac, of course, uh, they already have the new stuff, which is cool uh, to show off. Um, but I'm going to be going over um, what to expect. I'm going to show you all the images that I found um, online of them. Go over a brief summary of what they do, what they feature, price points, all that fun stuff. Because um, there's, there's a lot to talk about. Um, Dart Zone is slinging out some very nice pro line stuff. Um, as well as uh, Adventure Force has a couple. Um, there, there's a couple of nerf ones. One I'm like, eh, the other one I don't even care about. Um, but I'll still mention it, you know. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that in the next video. Um, but for now, guys, um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, please like, follow, share, and uh, subscribe like you guys are doing already. I uh, really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. All right, bye.